first DTM qualifying session of the season from Spa, Francochon. And with me on the line directly from Spa is the fastest BMW driver, P5 for Sheldon van der Linde. Sheldon, how was it out there in a DTM car around Spa, Francochon? Oh, it's crazy, man. I get absolute goosebumps just thinking about my lap earlier. Um, obviously, the guys didn't have a lot of prep going into the dry, uh, dry track. It was raining this morning for FP1. So, um, obviously, very tricky. Um, yeah, very tricky conditions. Had to basically put everything together on the one lap. And uh, I didn't have such a good first run on my first set of tyres in qualifying. So, I knew that uh, it, it was all down to play in the second, second run. And uh, luckily, I put everything together and uh, very happy. Uh, we still have a bit of a delta to, to Audi to catch up. But I'm sure the race is going to be a different story with very big uh, tyre digs. So, I'm looking forward. Yeah, I mean, you don't really have a lot of experience uh, of driving a DTM car around this circuit. The last time they were there was 2005. Uh, just how much preparation and knowledge uh, have you got of a dry condition at Spa? Well, not, like, not much, like I said. You know, the most, the most prep we've done was basically on the simulator back in Munich. And uh, other than that, yeah, just uh, very happy to put a lap together like that. Um, like I said, it's not easy when you only have one lap in a tie. You know that if you make a mistake... We're completely out of the window, so uh, very, very happy with that. Um, obviously, want to be a bit further up and challenge Audi, but like I said, the race is a different story, and hopefully I, I keep the smell like I'm a mask. <laughs> yeah, I love the mask. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, tell us a little bit about the feeling of taking a car uh, up through Radion and round Blanchiment. Is it flat out Blanchiment easily? Blanchiment not, but um, Eau Rouge okay. is. And, you know, the thing is you arrive there, and you're like, okay, you know it has to be flat now, and if you're not flat, you're losing way too much time. So... You've never done it flat before. You're on your first qualifying lap and you're like, okay, whatever. If, if it doesn't work out now, it, you could have a big problem, you know? So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, very, it's a ballsy corner, as I like to call it. And uh, it's named Eau Rouge for a reason. It's, it's very uh, famous for a reason, I would say. Yeah. It's, it's named Eau Rouge for a reason as well. Um, the water below is red. Um, exactly. So, so moving into the race then, as you say, a little bit worried about the pace of the Audis. What was it? Six tenths, six and a half tenths off the, the pole position? Yeah, I think uh, the Audi did a uh, 205.6 and we did a 206.2, so six tenths off. Um, it's, it's a bit bigger than what I expected personally, to be honest. So that's why, of course, I'm happy to be best BMW, but it's, not a, it's a race against Audi as well. And uh, we need to be better than this year. There's a lot of pressure on us to perform as much as possible. And uh, like I said, the race is a different story. Um, just happy that we basically nailed everything we could from our side for the moment. And like the process now, we're racing obviously without spectators, without the fan interaction. This is the fan interaction happening right now. Does it feel slightly different to you in terms of your processes and, you know, the build up towards the race? Yeah, it does slightly, of course. Um, I, I have to say I miss the fans dearly. They're always a big part of the weekend for us. And uh, it always gives us a lot of motivation going into Yeah, to, to be best prepared as possible. I'm back again. <laughs> um, so yeah, of course, it doesn't make a big difference. But um, in the end, um, we do have more times for meetings and focusing on performance. So there's pros and cons to it. But I think there's more cons. Obviously, not having the fans here is, is a great shame. Um, but I think we can just be lucky to go racing at the moment. So I'm not uh, too unhappy. Well, congratulations on being the fastest BMW. P5 is where you'll start with, uh, with Timo Glock just behind in sixth position. And then uh, we have Duval, Wittmann, uh, our a fleet of BMWs, Eng. Uh, and then next up, Aberdeen in 13th position. Robert Kubica, 14th for BMW. Uh, so a good, strong fleet, but five Audis, uh, four Audis in front of us. Uh, for the race that's happening pretty soon. So we'll let you go and uh, get some sustenance in you, get some prep ready for the race, and we look forward to watching how you get on a bit later on. Mm -hmm.